time with Spencer from Cool Mini or not, he's going to tell us about what they've got going on right now, what's on Kickstarter, latest and greatest. Well, so, biggest thing for us is we've been running demos of Blood Rage, which has been a huge success here at the show. Wow. I think it's, it's one of the most talked about games of the show so far. Uh, you know, it's an Eric Lane game, which people love, and it's got a cool theme, which is Vikings during Ragnarok, so fighting and killing, and <laughs> it's also got a kind of a cool card drafting system, so people really like the fact that it's got a kind of the, all the mechanics that Eric Lang is known for, right. that have been polished up over the years and kind of put on display in this really cool thematic game. Uh, we also have Mass Moore, which is a sister product to Arcadia. Okay. Uh, it's a kind of a game that we're prototyping right now. It's actually something that's already a successful game in Brazil that we're bringing over and porting into the Arcadia universe. Awesome. And what's cool about the game is it's we got kind of a Betrayal on House of the Hill style. You're revealing tiles to build your your dungeon. What's coming out? Yeah. And then you also are rolling dice to determine what your character can do this round. So you don't always have the same actions. Your actions are determined by your die roll. And then you have these kind of like screw your neighbor type cards. Mm -hmm. So like it's a race to the first person to get to a certain number of XP. And you have these cards that take XP away, take te treasure away, take away monsters, add monsters. Yeah. So it's kind of this uh, fast paced, very quick and light, but also very strategic in a very dirty and dirt like stab you in the back type way. Yeah. So we also uh, are showing off Queen's Necklace and the Grizzled, which are two uh, two games that are a little bit smaller boxes than we're used to doing. Uh, Queen's Necklace is uh, actually designed by uh, his old Days of Wonder game that we're republishing, and it's designed by uh, Bruno Fiduti and Bruno Capala. Mm -hmm. And uh, so kind of two legacies of gaming, and it's one wow. of their earlier games. But we've gone back and added in the errata and done the facts and kind of polished up the art. We think that uh, the game was beautiful to begin with, but it had a little bit of rough art when they first published it. So now that we have the rights for it, we kind of brought our little polish to it, clean up the art. We have a guy who used to do Pixar animation stuff to do the art. You can kind of see it uh, when you look at it, right? Um, and then with Grizzled is a fully cooperative card game where I have a bunch of cards in my hand, you have a bunch of cards in your hand, and we have to play our cards into the center, but we can't match any three symbols or backgrounds. And then symbols are like gas mask, uh, bullets, whistles, and the backgrounds are like day, night, uh, rain, and winter. And so we can't match any of those three either backgrounds or symbols, but we also can't tell each other what we have in our hands. Uh, and you're just trying to play all the cards out of your hands. Everybody in your group needs to get rid of all their cards to you. Okay. Uh, that's kind of a brief overview. Uh, it's a really small box game. It's 20 bucks, and we uh, actually sold out uh, on the second day, so we sold out on Friday. <laughs> wow. And so we reshipped in a bunch today, and we're looking like we're probably going to sell it again today. And that one's coming out real soon uh, into retail, so that's going to be a big hit, I think. Awesome. People love it so far. Um, beyond that, uh, we got nothing going on Kickstarter right now. We just finished up Black Plague, which we're running demos of, so that people yeah. who packed it can see what, what it's what, going to be. What's gonna be uh, we're also running demos of and uh, Roman Bones, which we also finished up on Kickstarter. And we are showing off later today, we're going to show off uh, a sneak preview of Arcadia Quest Inferno, which is the full on sequel to Arcadia Quest. So, unlike Mass Moore, which is a sister product that plays a little bit differently, Arcadia Quest uh, Inferno is the next part of the next step in the game, so they add some mechanics. Does a little bit new things, adds some new weapons, some new heroes, some new villains, and uh, we're excited to show that off because that's going to be a Kickstarter we have coming up pretty soon, probably fall sometime. Okay. And we have uh, we've had Eric stop by the booth, Eric Lang stop by the booth and demo uh, the others, which will be our next Kickstarter in uh, probably the next another month or so, probably September. The others is kind of like this horror game where the seven deadly sins are trying to kind of invade Earth. And they're these nasty, horrible creatures uh -huh. that uh, the players have to fight off using these kind of paranormal or investigator type characters. The thing is, you can use a corruption, you can corrupt yourself to become more powerful, but after a certain point, the corruption starts to kill you. Uh, so you're kind of playing risk reward of, I'm going to corrupt myself to get more powerful, but I need to start removing corruption, losing power, uh, or I'll start taking damage from all the corruption that's gone in. The, uh, it's one versus many style gameplay, so one person plays as the, the sin, and the others play as the paranormal investigators fighting the sin. So it's, it's a cool kind of uh, expansion in the uh, uh, you know, cooperative, but Whoa. kind of a kind of an expansion into the cooperative gameplay that we're known for, but adding in that kind of antagonistic player as well. Stuff going on, we appreciate always, it. Always. Check them out. <laughs> Check them out. Thanks Thank a lot, you, sir. Man. Yeah, definitely.